from the sea always come faithfully when love comes my way I live in color no more gray when My dearest Andrew, I cannot believe our big day is finally here. I have looked forward to this day since the very first day I met you, especially when we talked for six hours straight. God knew I needed someone like you, my other half, and, and the one who completes me. He knew I needed someone to fix my vehicle to do all the yard work and handle anything that has to do with outside. You are my rock, solid ground. You make me a better person and challenge me to be my best self. You always keep me grounded and challenge me to let things go. And I appreciate this even when I tell you I don't. I knew I needed someone to help me navigate through this life and I wouldn't want anyone else by my side. I love all that you are and I hope you feel, you see yourself how I see you. I see you as such a kind soul, such a gentleman and the hardest worker I know. You make me so proud each and every day and I vow to always bring you up and not tear you down. I vow to be adventurous with you and challenge you to do things that you have not done. Although we currently live together, I cannot wait to step into this chapter with you and call you my husband. I hope to be the very best wife that you deserve. I love you with my whole heart and I'm so excited to see you at the altar. Laura Ashley, I started planning what I would say months ago. However, these past few days, everything has seemed to change. I have gained a new appreciation 
for all the hard work you and many others have put into this wedding. Just when it seems I couldn't possibly love you more, everything changes. And I find myself loving you more and more, day to day, hour to hour, even second to second. So today I vow to never stop letting our love go. Never stop being surprised by you. Today I will say I do when asked, but really that means I will. As I, mean, I will always be your rock. I will always be the one to ground you. I will always push you as you push me. I will always take care of you. Always be your safe place. I vow to always tell you I love you. Every day. Even if we do not see eye to eye, I will always love you. Today we become one. You, myself, and God. I promise to never let any of the three falter in our marriage. I vow to encourage and inspire you when you need it the most. I vow to drive as far as I need to, to loosen your oil cap on your car when you say it is stuck, even though I always knew it was just an excuse to see me, no matter how much you continue to deny it. I vow to make you laugh every day, especially when you are sad. I vow to love you in good times or bad times when life is easy or it is hard when our love comes very simply or when we have to make an effort I promise to always cherish you as my loving wife to always be a good friend faithful and honest husband no matter what I vow to be a great partner in life be a good dad to Boomer, Chloe, future fur babies, and God willing, our very own children. I vow to be a good family member and friend to all you hold dear. Most importantly, today in front of our God, family, and friends, I vow to always love you most. No, I vow to love you more than most. Together, we will make this best day of our life. We will love each other more and more, second by second. With you by my side, I give you all of these vows today and every day for the rest of our lives. To love you more than most, my forever bride, the soon to be Laura Ashley Robertson Blake. Like, oh yeah. Oh.